Why does that happen? Why does that happen? Settle the lift seat inside the box. Let's discover. Very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pilot Amire, and I will be your captain for this one today. Modern airplanes consist of two-man cockpit crew. That means that a minimum number of crew needed to fly big jet like Boeing and Airbus airplanes are two pilots. Not like the old designed airplanes which had a flight engineer also. But since the old days, airline captain sat on the left seat. So let's go back to these old days and find out why the captain sat in the left seat, not on the right one. In the old days, the airplane was designed using rotary engines and those engines propellers were turning to the left side which produced left turn torque that leads left turn tendencies to the airplane therefore it's easier to turn to the left than turning to the right because you need more rudder input so the more experienced pilots started to sit on the left on the other hand because of this tendencies they started to design the procedures more common to the left side so when the main pilot sat on the left side it would be easier for him to turn to the left side, which during the flight, like flying left hand traffic pattern, which were common as well as during the ground maneuvers while taxing the airplane on the ground. Pilot settings on the left side would keep the airplane on the right side along the airways, which in the old days, pilots often navigate visually following roads and railways. And when the opposite traffic following the same path, then, pass each other on the left. One of the visual flying rules to avoid head collusion is that when two airplanes approach each other head to head, both pilots must go to the right side to avoid collusion. And since the captain sits on the left, he will have an unrestricted view of the airplane so he can handle the situation easily. So big airplanes which have rotor engines continue to design the airplane, letting the captain sit on the left seat as a trend. And by the time when the company started to produce jet airplanes, which do not have the stork effect, they continued to design the airplanes in a way to provide more control and instruments and keep the most important items on the left side of the cockpit. So the left hand side can have more access control and more responsible items. But that doesn't mean that the captain can sit on the right seat. If the captain gets qualification or as an instructor, he can sit on the right seat while also being as a pilot in command. Thank you aviators for watching. Leave in the comments below your thoughts and ideas about the topics you want me to discuss next time. And as always, we speak aviation.